The Panama authorities uh, were looking initially for drugs. This is a ship that is owned uh, by North Korea, fly flies the North Korean flag. It's a very old ship and it's been uh, on lists in the past as perhaps carrying banned goods, which is why they singled it out uh, when it tried to access the Panama Canal. But within it yesterday, they discovered a container and in that what they claimed to be uh, missile systems. They hinted yesterday that perhaps there was rather more on the ship than they, than they had uh, found at that time. Uh, and it seems they were were right. I'll go through it for you because uh, it really is quite remarkable. Two uh, anti-aircraft missile units uh, are on that ship somewhere yet to be found. Uh, nine missiles, uh, presumably four of those uh, anti-aircraft missile units, including parts and spares. Fifteen jet engines and perhaps most surprisingly of all, to go with those jet engines, two MiG fighter jets. Somewhere inside the hull of that ship uh, are two MiG fighter jets uh, not quite in working order, which is why the Cubans have decided to ship them to North Korea, because they want apparently to get them serviced. The Cuban authorities uh, get, uh, issued a, a statement earlier on this morning in which they gave us that list. Uh, they say they're perfectly entitled uh, to ship uh, equipment around the world. They ha need this sort of equipment to defend themselves against the Americans. Uh, and of course, the only place where they're going to be able to get this sort of kit serviced is another country which uses uh, effectively the obsolete uh, Soviet era, era kit and that country is North Korea which is if you believe the Cuban authorities why it was on board this ship trying to get through the Panama Canal uh, and going across to North Korea. Now of course uh, several UN resolutions have been broken uh, by doing this uh, not necessarily by Cuba but certainly by North Korea because there is uh, a long-standing resolution uh, signed unanimously by the United Nations which bans North Korea from importing, exporting, uh, trading in uh, any sort of large-scale equipment like this. So ne regardless of the fact that they didn't own it, again, if we can believe the, uh, the uh, Cuban authorities, regardless of the fact they didn't own it, the fact is it was on board a North Korean ship heading towards North Korea. That alone, according to the United Nations, breaks resolutions.